everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to go ahead and talk about my experience living and working in Oaxaca, Mexico. It's definitely a trending destination nowadays and it's really popular amongst digital nomads. I do wanna say I'm not a digital nomad. I work a regular nine to five job that's temporarily remote. But in July, I do have to go into the office two times a day. So before that happens, I wanted to kind of take advantage of the fact that I can work from anywhere and try experiencing being in a totally different city. In January of this year, um, I had a friend who's lived in Oaxaca before for a few months at a time. And she told me that she was gonna be in Oaxaca again. So she asked me if I wanted to come. And I said, of course, because she did have an Airbnb booked for a month already so I went there and it was the best experience I'm gonna make this video a little bit more tailored around my experience I was only there for 10 days so really not long at all but I do feel like this video is going to still contain a lot of points that are uh, relevant to you know if you're deciding to stay here longer and I do want to encourage those of you who are able to work remotely full-time to maybe go out and experience a different city it doesn't even have to be international but just somewhere domestic maybe somewhere that you've been wanting to go to for a while and maybe just staying there for a week just like I did it definitely adds a different dimension to your trip um, versus if you were to just go as a tourist for you know a few days I feel like living and working there it makes you feel like a local you you start to establish a little bit of a routine which is really really nice so here are the top reasons why I think Oaxaca is the perfect remote work destination. Number one is definitely the affordability. I'm sure a lot of you have friends or family that have gone to Mexico, but maybe have only gone to really popular vacation spots such as Cabo or Cancun. Oaxaca is not like that. Of course, you can go there on vacation and you should, but it is a little bit more local. So with that comes um, a lot better prices. When it comes to housing, I know that it is really easy to find a beautiful Airbnb online, a lot of times even with a terrace, which is super cool, and a beautiful courtyard. Um, my, friend, my friend's Airbnb, where I stayed at for a week, um, I know she told me it was around $800 a month, which is, you know, a really good deal. We had our own bedroom, it was like a loft with a bathroom, we had access to the courtyard, so it was super affordable and it was in the city center. So um, check on Airbnb for deals. You can also stay at hostels. Another part of the affordability is definitely the food. Um, you can go from low to high end food. The gastronomy there is world renowned, but that doesn't mean that you have to go to really nice high end places. There's plenty of taco stalls. There's plenty of taliuda stalls, which are these uh, kind of open face uh, tortillas that are very uh, local to Oaxacan people um, those are super cheap you know less than a dollar will fill up your stomach easily I would go out for like every meal and per day like I would spend less than 20 bucks and that includes you know a coffee that includes a dessert that includes a alcoholic drink at the end of the day so in terms of transportation it also is super cheap i walked everywhere um with the exception of taking a collectivo um which is kind of like a shared taxi from the airport to the airbnb but buses there are so cheap less than 50 cents per ride and it you just can't beat it it's super cheap to get around another reason why you should come and live slash work here is the cafes if you're someone like me who loves coffee and loves taking pictures at cafes and you just love being in that atmosphere, you're gonna love Oaxaca. I had so many cafes on my list and so many that were recommended to me. All of them are so aesthetic, cute, and the best part is with COVID around and stuff like that, I was a little concerned that, you know, working in small spaces was gonna be an issue, but Oaxaca, most of the cafes there have open courtyards, so it's amazing that you get to work in fresh air and feel, you know, very comfortable in your working environment. Pretty much all of them serve local Oaxacan coffee. The staff are always really, really nice. The only thing I wanted to touch on is the Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi at every cafe is not perfect. You do want to kind of do your research online, especially if you're going to be having meetings or anything that requires a um, higher width band. 
you, there are certain cafes that have really good Wi-Fi. I can go ahead and leave some of those in the description box because I had to do my own research. It's not always at every cafe that you can find high speed internet. So you just want to keep that in mind. Another huge reason is going to be food. Oaxaca is the gastronomy capital of Mexico. It is amazing. With a climate that it has, it can grow all kinds of food. So that includes special herbs, a lot of native fruits and vegetables, only native to Oaxaca. Oaxaca is also known for its chocolate. It's known for its mole, which is also made with chocolate. Their mole is absolutely phenomenal and you're not going to have any trouble at all finding affordable foods there i mean if i wanted to i could have eaten on less than five dollars us a day i just didn't do that because sometimes after work me and my friend would go out and sometimes we just wanted to sit down and have like a nice glass of wine but you can easily find food at every corner um it's not gonna be an issue for you to find what to eat. There's something for everyone. And especially during lunch, if you feel like you're really busy, you're in meetings, you have a lot of work to catch up on. Again, it's extremely accessible. Service is also really, really great. People are very kind. It's very rare that you, you would have to wait for, for any restaurants, I believe. So definitely check out the food and do not worry about starving to death because the opposite will happen to you. I absolutely promise. Like you are gonna just love the food. Another thing that I love about Oaxaca is the accessibility when it comes to transportation. Um, so with that being said, I actually only walked throughout the city. Um, the Airbnb that I was staying at with my friend was right in the center. So I was pretty spoiled. I was able to walk everywhere. I'm also living in New York City right now. So walking has never been an issue. I can walk, you know, 30 minutes with no problem. So um, if you feel like walking isn't really an option for you, there's also buses that go around. They're extremely cheap. I believe they're about seven pesos per ride. But yes, walkability. You don't need to worry about getting around. You can also rent a bike. There's plenty of bike shops around as well um, that are really easy. I mean, sometimes your hostel or your Airbnb might even have bike rentals. So yes, walkability is definitely a huge, huge one. Um, and the best part about walking through Oaxaca is that you discover so many new places because on every corner There's a really cool restaurant or there's a really cute artsy boutique that you can pop in um, Oaxaca is really known for a lot of handcrafts They're super super artsy and you'll find a lot of handmade crafts and a lot of really unique souvenirs That you really can't find anywhere else walking is not just a way to um, Get by in Oaxaca. It's also just a great activity to do if you want to go out and get some fresh air or if you want to explore the city it's definitely a huge plus if you decide to live in Oaxaca another reason would be the great weather in Oaxaca oh my gosh in January New York City had a snowstorm it was wild it was cold and snowing and Oaxaca was like paradise to me it was really warm I mean, like the high 70s low 80s Fahrenheit it was sunny every day when it did rain it rained like for two hours like one of the nights or something like that so the weather was amazing and um, I realized that for me personally it put me in such a good mood it put me in a mood to be really really productive when I was working but it also motivated me to go out and explore to go walk around in the park you know, to go and explore museums, shop around. Like I was so surprised by how productive I was working in Oaxaca. And I really think that the weather had a huge reason to do with it because here in New York City, I live in an apartment with not that much natural light. I mean, I have some like where I'm sitting right here. Um, but other than that, like I have to have my ceiling lights on for me to be able to really feel comfortable with working. But in Oaxaca with the sunshine, with just the atmosphere, with the climate, I didn't need any of that. Keep in mind that in the winter, January, February, um, those are the driest months of the of the year, um, which is when I went. I know that there's a little bit of rain more so in the summer, like June, July, August, um, but honestly, year round, it's it's amazing there. I mean, I went in the dead of winter, so you're gonna be in luck when, whenever you decide to go. The last reason I wanted to mention, which I feel like really distinguishes Oaxaca from other really popular digital nomad spots is 
the ease and the pace of life that Oaxacans have. I'm from New York City. I live here. It's definitely a hustle and grind culture. I swear people here walk two times faster than the average human in America because there's always somewhere to be going to. Um, there's always something to be doing. There's always money to be made. But in Oaxaca, it didn't feel like that at all. Like even when I was in cafes, I felt, I felt like, I was just in there, you know, working on my YouTube channel, or I felt like I was in there slowly working on a project. I was, I didn't feel like I was working my regular corporate job um, because people around me were having really nice conversations with each other, or there were even people in there learning Spanish, you know, like tutoring sessions. Um, so it just felt like a really good change of pace for me. It's a very, very relaxing atmosphere. I think the cafes have a lot to do with it. They have really soft music in the background and it just, everything feels very idyllic. You know, even when you walk around, there's so much to see. You don't find yourself rushing. You kind of find yourself, you know, browsing and looking at murals, looking at little hidden pockets of art that you can see it everywhere in the city. It was definitely a great change of pace for me, especially being from the city. If you're someone who has been working from home for like almost two years now and you just feel like every day is starting to get really mundane and you're starting to feel stuck and you're starting to feel unhappy, maybe you're even feeling anxious, I feel like Oaxaca is just like a great spot to be because you're just gonna feel like a different person. The people are really kind, you'll make great conversations with people and you know, I feel like it's the epitome of what life should be, the way that people in Oaxaca live and the way that they take their time to enjoy the little things in life. So that wraps it up for all the reasons why I think Oaxaca is the perfect remote work destination. Go ahead, book those tickets right now. You won't regret it, it's amazing. I was only there for a week, but I gained so much from that experience and I gained more than I would have if I were just, you know, a tourist there. I really got to experience living locally and I really like that. And if you're in a budget like me, I get it. Working remotely is an expensive idea. I mean, think about it. You have to pay for a flight, you have to pay for accommodation on top of the apartment rental that you probably already have back at home. But again, with Oaxaca being extremely affordable, you will be totally fine. You know, you can find really, really cheap places the food is delicious and cheap you can walk around everywhere I mean it is really just the perfect place for you to go um, and hopefully you will come back a changed person like I did if you found this video helpful or just really fun to watch please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I work a nine-to-five job but I love to travel and I'm here to help you maximize your traveling time even if you do work a full-time job like me and just to experience more of what this world has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.